Hello today, I'm comparing Modo version 11.v1 um, with 3ds Max 2015. So I'm going to compare the basic functions. Um, I'm just looking around Modo, I think I'm going to start getting into it. There's an indie version that's quite cheap and then actually the full version only works out at about 50 odd pounds a month. <clears throat> Whereas the reason why I'm stopping Max is because it's just um, far too much money for me um, to rent it per, per month. So I've stopped it on 2015 um, and I used the other ver the subsequent versions as, a, versions as um, a trial, once month trial and a rental. Um, but I'm really impressed with Modo and because I use Substance Painter now it's um, good with that as well. So I'm just very quickly. So okay so I've made a sphere in 3ds Max. So let's look at Modo. So I'm very new to Modo so I'm not good at it yet. Um, so here's we go. So let's make a sphere primitive. So we click and drag and that seems to make a flat sphere and then we click again to make the sphere. But not a flat sphere, a flat circle. Um, and then if I'm trying to look around it, so I'm holding down Alt and the right mouse button and then obviously in Max um, you can use that trackball to look around it. Let's have a look at zoom in and out in Modo. So that's very easy. So it's the mouse wheel um, in the same way that we use in Max. Um, pan, so in Max, panning is the middle mouse wheel and we move it the mouse around, which is very nice. In Modo, the default control, I think, is Alt and Shift. Yeah, so it's not so obvious, but I'm sure you can change all these keys um, as well. Um, a nice thing I found in Modo is that it's got a, if you hold down Alt and then right click and then kind of shift it and then taking my hands off, well, just do it again, taking my hands off, it'll spin around kind of automatically as if you've moved it in re like a, t turn, a turntable in real life, which is a really nice effect. And Max, we don't have that. Um, and then <clears throat> Alt and right key just seems to be the look around default mode. So this, by no means this isn't that detailed and as I get more into Modo I'll make more comparisons. So this is good for people who are interested in moving from 3ds Max to Modo, like myself. Um, I'm not going to go into too much more detail, I'll do another video on this. Um, so here are the vertices in Modo up here and we can select them like that. Control seems to be, oh yeah, multiple select on Modo. We're holding down Shift. And then let's go to vertices in 3ds Max. So we have to convert this primitive in Max and we're gonna hold down Control. So in Max again, it's Control to select multiples in the same way, Control, select multiples holding down control. So to select multiples in Modo, it's not control, it's shift. Is it shift? Yep, shift. And then again, you can select the edge, edges up here. <clears throat> so as we can immediately see, there's not really a modifier stack as such in Modo, it seems, whereas in 3ds Max is famous for its modifier stack and adding um, modifiers and stuff on the modifier stack. And that's about it for now. So let's just go over these simple controls again. So the rotate is Alt and left mouse button in Modo and rotate, the usual way we use rotate or pan around is that. And please no pedants on this because I did a blender comparison thing once and there was this really annoying pedantic fanboy blender person says this isn't the same this isn't the same you these things are the, more or less the same okay <laughs> so here's a good thing so you hold down the left button here to select multiple polygons in modo so I'm liking that already and if we do that we just got the lasso which is default in uh, max as um, a square but we can change that like so and in Modo the default lasso is right click and then that's the uh, you know uh, wavy you know um, 
that what to call that when you you can make your own yeah spline lasso I guess. <clears throat> And I know that you can change it because I've seen that somewhere up here. Now, something with Modo is I'm clicking these buttons and it's crashing it. So I'm going to have to go into the forums and ask why why is it crashing? Is it something to do with my graphics card, perhaps? Um, a really nice thing on Modo is we've got some presets here. So we've got an architectural renderer and stuff like that. So I'm really enthusiastic. And I'll be making more videos about this as we go along, um, as I learn uh, Modo. Um, I've just got this trial version that's got about 20 odd days left and then I'm going to go and get the indie version because the indie version has all the features but bar you know polygon export is only a hundred thousand polygons I think correct me if I'm wrong and um, but then that's that's quite cheap and then once I get freelance work some more freelance work with what I'm doing or when my product I monetize my product then I'll probably get the full Modo package because I'm really liking it. And as I say, from Max, if you're a good Max user, if you're experienced, then you'll pick this up in no time. Um, you'll get used to it. And if you're using other programs like Blender, I use Blender as well. And again, the concepts are similar. Um, and I'm liking the user interface already. I find it very intuitive. And as I say, I think Modo says it's made for artists. And it is it's very intuitive. They've really thought about it. Got a nice little right click there. So I'm going to stop there. That's just a few things. And if you've got any comments or questions, please let me know. And you can see how I progress with um, Modo with some <coughs> of my YouTube videos in the future and how I use it to make um, some of my 3Z Universe stuff. Um, so remember to check out my 3Z Universe blog, which is www.jamesabelart.com forward slash blog. So I'm going to be doing loads more stuff like that. I'm very inspired at the moment because I saw the latest Blade Runner 2049 film, which is really recommend you go and see it. Um, you can si sign on to my Twitter, which is James Abel Arts, or Instagram, James Abel Arts, and subscribe. remember to subscribe to this YouTube video, not YouTube video, YouTube channel. So thanks very much, and speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Have a great day wherever you are in the world. Comments and questions are welcome. Bye for now.